Welcome. I'd like to tell you a little bit about where the hourglass figure came from, where the idea originated. You might notice the four-part processing system here from Seidenberg McClellan. This four-part processing system is for word recognition. It helps us understand how we look at a letter, go to a sound, sound it out, and then ask ourselves, hmm, what does that word really mean? And what does it mean in the context within which we are reading it or hearing it? So the four-part processing system has been pretty prevalent in our field to discuss how we read and understand words. When I was thinking about this connection between the two, which many people talk about as phonics, I was thinking about how to really pull apart these pieces of information and extend them a little more to make them more helpful for teachers. And here's what I decided to do. I realized that phonology is a skill. The speech sound system is not something we come at naturally with individual phonemic awareness. We come at this knowing big, long, co-articulated streams of speech. And then our job is to teach slightly smaller and smaller and smaller units of sound until we get where there's an individual phoneme we are aware of, we can manipulate it, we can, we can think about it in relationship to other sounds as well. So the thought occurred to me that we have big, long, connected streams of speech taught to slightly smaller and smaller units. In addition to that, when we are aware of phoneme and we know the names of a letter, or letter pattern, we can begin to put those together. So if we have M and we understand that we put our lips together and blow air out of our nose and say mmm, and those are related with each other, we can of course then understand this alphabetic principle. That's where most people talk about this as being phonics. When we teach orthography though, and the phonics and spelling components of our language, we don't start with multi-syllable words. We start with a letter and a sound and then we work with multiple letters and sounds and a vowel and add slightly larger and larger and larger units of orthographic patterns. More sounds and more symbols related to those sounds. So then it became from smaller to bigger areas of letter and letter patterns in here. So quite naturally the hourglass was sort of born on its side um, and we can see that the sounds or the phonological awareness is in this portion of our four-part processing system. And as soon as we understand the sounds and can layer them onto the orthographic processor, it gets into this portion. So that's where the hourglass, the idea of the shape of the hourglass originated. And as you watch our series of slides, I'll lay out how we talked about the phonological processor and the orthographic processor and the skills that are necessary to learn and, and understand for reading and spelling in both of those. Thanks for joining me.